Wait, no, that's not what I'm thinking of. What am I thinking of? Two points! Ever since I had the brilliant idea of including the Immaculate Box, a reward for dropping 40 points in Wheel of Mud, I have been unable to eclipse 40 points. In fact, last episode, I had 38! Not only did I have 38, but I missed the two-point conversion. Oh! I don't want to talk about it! Welcome back to Wheel of Mud, boys! If you've been bouncing around, let me catch you up. On this season, we are four and one. So I'm one game away from the playoffs, but I'm two losses away from getting booted. Offensively, we have a really interesting team, but it's a really fun team as well. We've got 91 Dak. We've got 93 overall tight end Vita Vea. We've got limited Puka Nakua, limited Mike Evans, and our prestige Jamar Chase. We've got ghosts of Mutt Derek Henry at halfback, and that's the powerhouse on this offense. We've got him a pretty solid rounded offensive line, and you might be asking where Gronk is. Well, Gronk got a middle linebacker card, and most importantly, I am a total casual. Gronk has avalanche? I did not know these cards had specific X factors. Gronk has avalanche that starts out for 10 plays, which is actually longer than Ray Lewis gets it, so Gronk Gronk is truly significantly better. I was making the argument last episode that Ray Lewis might be considered better because of Avalanche, and now I can't make that argument anymore. So we're gonna make a formal swap here to start this episode. Our new MLB one is Rob Gronkowski, and my new right outside linebacker is gonna be Ray Lewis. So now I'm gonna move Luke Keekley to MLB two. I'm gonna take Crusher off of Ray Lewis. This is costing two AP, and he's not my true middle linebacker anymore, so doesn't make a whole lot of sense to run that. And I'm going to give Gronk the discounted enforcer. This might even make it easier to get an avalanche hit, and it's only one AP. I'm also going to give Kyle Hamilton Acrobat, and I'm going to deactivate Lurk Artist on Luke Keekly. I feel like we don't need four Lurk Artists out there, especially because this Luke Keekly is really just not going to come in that much. For the most part, it's going to be Gronk at middle linebacker. Outside linebackers are Ray Lewis and Anthony Walker, and we'll be in a lot of nickel and dollar sets where Kyle Hamilton, Adrian Phillips, Champ Bailey, Gonzo, and Derwin are in the game with the substitution being Jalen Petrie, most feared. And as far as Nick Bosa goes, this is a foregone conclusion. EA actually has it out to get me. All right, boys, let's get in our wheel spin right here and potentially secure a playoff berth, which is really cool because the NFL playoffs are coming up right now. Oh my God, my linebackers are about to be so insane. Plus three to outside linebacker. We already have Anthony Walker as my left outside linebacker and he's a 90 overall. I can't actually add plus three to Ray Lewis because he's, this is the highest overall outside linebacker in the game. So I could take 90 Anthony Walker and make him a 93. So I could get any 93 overall outside linebacker in the game. And I think there's an obvious choice. Steelers fans, I think you know who I have on my mind. I take it back. There are multiple insane options. I could get Lawrence Taylor. I could get Micah Parsons. I could get TJ Watt, who that's the first name that came in my mind with TJ Watt, but holy shit, there's so many good options. There's even a 93 overall Bradley Chubb. Oh my God, and there's the 93 Carmichael. This is actually definitely the best option. Also, Carmichael is a pass coverage guy, and that's actually what I need because my edge pressure is coming from Will Anderson. I mean, I guess I could blitz Carmichael too. He's still really fast. Oh my God. God, I'm passing up on TJ Watt, Lawrence Taylor, and Micah Parsons for left outside linebacker Harold Carmichael, but dude, this card was built for Madden Ultimate Team. If you play Madden Ultimate Team, you pretty much see this Carmichael every single game. Everybody uses this Carmichael. He's a six foot eight, 93 overall outside linebacker with 93 speed. He would honestly be an insane user, and this is the first time in Willamette history that I can confidently say the best position group on my team is linebacker. That never, I've never done that before. I usually use like budget linebackers just to let the rest of my team develop. But holy shit. Not only this, but this Carmichael has free lurk artists. So I just freed up one AP on the defense. I don't know how I'm going to use it. Dude, I have Carmichael, Gronk, and Ray Lewis. Now, the only thing is when I do a plus three, I have to remove the player that I'm adding to. So it's not like I can just move Anthony Walker to MLB two. I have to replace him. So Luke Keekley is still our backup middle linebacker. But for now, I have literally, I think you could say, this is the three best linebackers in the game. Limited Ray Lewis cover athlete, limited Rob Gronkowski special present, and ghosts of mud past Harold Carmichael linebacker. And now we have one AP to use. No outsiders. I would way rather use no outsiders. I should have looked at that Will Anderson before. We, at, we have a lot of ghosts of mud on this team all of a sudden. We've got Carmichael, Anderson, and Henry. We've got ghosts of mud future, present, and past. That's awesome. I'm not gonna lie. That first wheel spin is not something we needed, but I'm happy to have it. There are still holes 
on this team though that we need to patch up. I love this one. This is one of my favorite ones. So we can get any single player in the game, but they must be, oh, give it to me. Give it to me. I was just saying, I never got it. Give me NFC South. Not that it matters. I'm, ex I'm excited to have NFC West too. It's Niners season and we get NFC West. I can get any player that is a Niner, a Ram, a Seahawk, or an Arizona Cardinal. It's not like I live there or anything. Wow, there's going to be tons of good options, but the most important thing to look at is what do we need on this team? This team could definitely use a dominant D tackle. And there is a brand new limited Eric Armstead, which should be a limited Nick Bosa, but who cares? We also need new corners. Christian Gonzalez is my best corner and even Christian Gonzalez is not that good. Champ Bailey, very outdated. Adrian Phillips is criminally outdated. And offensively, I really do want a hot route master quarterback. Honestly, the NFC West quarterback options are dog shit. So the Cardinals have two options. There's limited Larry Fitz. There's limited Hassan Reddick. 49ers have Fred Warner, Trent Williams, Christian McCaffrey, which is such a sick card, but I've got Derrick Henry. And then one actually very good option for me is Eric Armstead. Eric Armstead Set a 6'7", 300 pound D tackle with 94 block shit. It's actually damn fast too. Rams have no 94 overall players. Seahawks have no 94 overall players. However, if I go 93 overall, the Seahawks do have Tariq Woolen. Tariq Woolen is a super fast 6'4 corner. This is an absurdly good option. They also have Richard Sherman. So the Seahawks have crazy no fly zone. And the Rams have Marshall Falk, Puka Nakua, who we do already have. They also have Aaron Donald Terminator, one of the best D tackles in this game. So it's really between Tariq Woolen and Eric Armstead. I know it's 49ers season, but we need corners badly. I'm taking 93 overall Tariq Woolen. And honestly, the big reason I'm doing this is because he's six foot four. Insane man and zone coverage. He's got the size to tackle. This corner was built for mud. All right, CB1 becomes Tariq Woolen. CB2 is going to be Gonzalez. CB3 will continue to be Champ Bailey. And I'm going to move Adrian Phillips down in the depth chart. I don't anticipate ever using this Adrian Phillips, but just in case EA drops him a way better card, I want him on the lineup for a pack a punt. Also, as I look at this team, my linebackers are so insane that I should probably be moving Gronk back to tight end, but I still want to play one more game with him. I haven't tried out Gronk with Avalanche. This Gronk middle linebacker is such a cool card, but once we get into the playoffs, I think Gronk goes back to tight end. Ray Lewis, the middle linebacker, Luke Keekley the outside linebacker, Carmichael, at outside linebacker, and we rock the team like that. There still is definitely Definitely some vacancies on my D-line. A really important part of Ultimate Team is having an inside stuff D-tackle. Everybody I play against is going to have an inside stuff D-tackle. It's that good. So the fact that I don't have one right now is a bummer. That's what we wanted Eric Armstead for, but obviously we need good corners too. I think this was a more important part, but moving ahead in the playoffs, we got to get ourselves a D-tackle. I'm going to give Tariq Woolen universal coverage. And what discounted abilities does he get? So he gets a discounted pick artist. Definitely like that. And he does have zone KOs. I don't think I I can afford to use these right now, but I'm happy with just pick artist, universal coverage. Tariq Willen. The third and final wheel spin. Can this be a quarterback? I really do want to replace Dak. So if it's possible, oh, maybe, maybe. If there's a quarterback in here, then maybe. All right, we're just going to sort the whole auction house by 92 to 93 overalls, and we'll have a choice out of the first 12 players that pop up. So as you're looking at the screen right now, there are 12 players on the screen. So it's really the first 12 we see. However, when I hit 92 to 93 here, it's sorted by buy now price. So these are not our options, which is actually really shitty because that Mahomes would be so good. But now I'm going to sort it by time remaining. And these are our options. Joey Porter. Jr., Shannon Sharp, Chris Hinton, Bradley Chubb, Jalen Carter. Jalen Carter. Oh, but there's an OBJ. Dre Archer! Shit, I want to use Dre Archer so bad, but I can't. Darius Hayward Bay, Antoine Winfield, Phillip Rivers. If I really wanted a new quarterback, I could go Phillip Rivers, but I don't want to go from Dak to Phillip Rivers. I'm not doing that. We already have Will Anderson. We already have Ray. Dre Archer is so cool, but I can't do it. Darius Hayward Bay and Odell would be sick, but honestly, we need the defense. I would be adding three 93 overall players on defense if I take Jalen Carter here. Hold Holy shit, this card. This card makes that Eric Armstead look dog shit. He's faster with more block shed. How is that Eric Armstead a 94? This card is better. It looks like it's Dak Prescott until we die. Dak for MVP, I suppose. Not exactly what I've been planning on, but the cards are just falling so that Dak continues to be our franchise quarterback. And we're gonna pick up 93 overall Jalen Carter right here. If this card is as cracked as I hope it is, he's gonna get a discounted inside stuff. If we can get inside stuff for one AP, this is like... The the greatest card that 
we could have gotten. Interior threat's really, really good too. But now we have an inside stuff and a no outsiders, which means we get guaranteed unbeatable block sheds on both types of run plays. Now, obviously, if they run to Nick Bosa's side, we don't have no outsiders there, but this is already such a massive help for our run defense. So now it's just up to our pass defense to win us games, and we did just add Tariq Woolen. I'm really, really, really happy about how this went. A full defensive episode. And now that I think about it, it's like, yeah, we should probably move Gronk back to tight end next episode. Dude, defense is looking star-studded. Now, offense is no different, but honestly, offense is already really, really good. We need to let Derrick Henry carry us. I need to limit Dak to simple throws because I can't be doing crazy deep corner routes without Hot Route Master. So a slow, steady run game opens up the pass game. Let Vita Vea cook. And defensively, we can do whatever the hell we want. Oh my goodness, I love this defense. Of course, we've got the challenge wheel. Completing this challenge gives me a pack from the store. Or I can salvage a player if we lose. It's four passing touchdowns. Okay. We've got Dak and Derrick Henry. This team isn't exactly built for passing touchdowns, but let's go for it, boys. Gronk, Henry, Carmichael. Carmichael's in now, baby. Mr. Sevens rocking Megatron Tillman. It. Let's get it, baby. Let's lock in, boys. Look at this fucking interior linebackers. Oh, Gronk. Avalanche. <gasps> Dude, sometimes I get so excited to do an avalanche hit that I miss. Oh, my God. What if we started it like that? Second and two. All right, a little play action. Look at that D-line. Carmichael. Dude, I love this team. How horrifying is this? Carmichael and Gronk. Yeah, but look at this, dude. Ray Lewis in dollar three two. Ray Lewis isn't even on the field. Mm. I have to I have to move Gronk back to tight end. Fourth and six. He's going for it already. We should get some pressure from Will. Will Anderson got around his block. Score my goal! Holy shit! He's a mountain! I would quit. I honestly, this might be one of the fastest rage we've ever gotten. If, if I got mossed by Harold Carmichael doing that shit right there, dude, there's not another linebacker in the game who's making this play. That's just stupid. All right, we need four passing touchdowns. How do we get four passing touchdowns? Let's send Vita Vea out of here and let's just be smart. Derrick Henry's kind of locked up. I was hoping he'd catch that ball and just break the tackle just because he's Derrick Henry. He does have that Aaron Donald. Like I said, boys, everybody's got this Aaron Donald. I might be able to whip this out to Vita Vea. I can. A little RPO. Great catch, Vita Vea. I wonder if the Vita Vea whip route gets him here. Oh, my God. Oh, no, it didn't. That's a really... He caught it! Fourth and inches! I'm throwing it right back to Vita Vea, bro. Actually, no. This will probably go to Derrick Henry. It does. Derrick Henry, easy. Keep it simple. And a nice little stiff arm just to be a dickhead. He's still up. Four for four, 19 yards. This is, uh, this is a bizarre offense right now, but I like it. I'm thinking Puka Nakua whip route. Uh, no. I had RB. I should be able to hit Albert O or Vita Vea here. Let's just be smart. Vita Vea. Beautiful. Big boy. Honestly, a nice tackle. I thought Vita Vea was going to crush him there. You got that angry runs? Come here. Come here. Somebody come get it. Woo! Oh, wait. No. Passing touchdown. Passing touchdown. Passing touchdown. Albert O. Albert O. <sighs> that actually, that was sketchy. That could have been a lot worse. Oh, my God. Vita Vea. Why does Vita Vea run the crispiest routes? Why is he the best route runner on my team? Look at that. Look at the separation. That's a crime. All right, spectacular start. Harold Carmichael with an interception off Mount Everest and Vita Vea with the crispiest routes you've ever seen. I always forget, dude, when you play Mutt Champions, the kicking meter is so fast. Second and five. Gonna check this down. He's gonna juke. Oh, ooh. Dude, we're hitting so hard. What's he want? That's a tough ball. Nice breakup, too. Second and 10. 24 seconds left in the first. He's really struggling to move the ball right now. His run his run plays have been the most effective. But once he gets, like, caught up... Nice. Oh, Hamilton! He punched that out. That was not a completion. This is one of the best wheel on my defenses I've ever had. And we're not even in the playoffs yet. I was just about to say, if that was a good ball, I'm picking it. Fourth and four. I'm going to send the blitz here. We're going for all the marbles right now. End this game. If I get this sack, this game's over. Get home. Get home. He's going to quit. No game's over until Vita Vea says it's so. I'm trying to get this past the user, and I do. Dang. Should take the easy one. We're going to go to Mike Evans here. Nice work, Mike Evans. That might be one of Mike Evans' first catches on this team. Happy it went through. I'm looking for Vita Vea whip. It's been crispy before, and it'll be crispy again. Vita Vea, get your ass 
Vita Vea owns your poverty franchise. Vita Vea carries my fantasy football team. Vita Vea. Dude, that fucking kick meter. What if I score 39 points today? 13 0 in the second quarter. I guess a 40 bomb is realistic if he's going to stick this game out. Right now, Vita Vea is dominating his team. What? Did he just run a, a flea flicker read option? That was the coolest thing I've ever seen. Oh my god, that was so awesome. He's actually running flea flicker read option. Or at least he ran it one time. And there's Jalen Carter! That's exactly why we got Jalen Carter. All right, we're Tampa 2 here, so Ray is in the game. See, I mean, for a defensive set like this, it's really nice to have Ray Lewis. <gasps> this guy is too predictable. Barry Sanders is going through hell. Ooh, good ball. He finds Josh Downs. No, no, not like this. That was a geriatric spin. That's the type of spin that Tom Brady would do. And it put me in the dirt and it's seven to 13. Oh my God. All right, 13 to seven. If this can be the final possession of the half, we'll be in a really, really good spot. So I'm gonna try and effectively use this clock here. Damn, that was really unfortunate. I'm gonna take this short side. I'm gonna snap it before. Damn. Oh, thank you, Derrick Henry, because that was not good blocking. Third and two. I think I'm getting ahead of myself talking about a rage quit. It's a six-point game, and I'm kind of struggling to move the ball. I'm going to go inside zone. I think Derrick Henry gets this. Oh, way to get to the second level. Shoot, come out, Derrick, one more! Honestly, no, this is better. I didn't want to go all the way there. We already have two passing touchdowns. We want to score with no time on this clock. I'm going to go hit Henry. Ooh, that was dangerously close to intercepted. We'll take the two yards. I'm going to go with a slip screen. No, he does not see it. He does not see it at all. He's lost, dude. Oh, my God. Let's go. 11 for 13, 73 yards and two touchdowns for Dak Prescott. I have never completed the four passing touchdown challenge before. Not Never in Wheel of Mud history have I completed it. Out route. Derrick Henry. Are you fast enough? You might be! Let's go. Second and one. Let's go play action. He he has seen a lot of runs out of Derrick Henry. He might actually bite on this. Second and one. I'm actually looking at Vita Vea here. I'm even I'm gonna block Alberto. Oh shit, he just fucking He commit! No. He ran commit, so he definitely bit. But I didn't have any routes that were torched there. PA crossers is the perfect play here. Hopefully he commits to Vita Vea and we can hit Jamar. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, third and 14. 14 seconds left from the 31. Okay, so he's gonna be blitzing again. It's gonna be the same thing. I gotta go Vita Vea. Just take the safe one and get out of bounds. Now this is so risky. Fourth and three, nine seconds. No, I, I gotta go for the end zone. I do. Take it. Get down. All right, we reset the downs. We have two plays. We have two plays for the end zone. I gotta go five wide. I might just give Jamar Chase a jump ball here. Yes, maybe. No! Oh, Ronnie, Ronnie Lott's a stud. Ronnie Lott is such a good safety. I'm not mad about that, but damn, that was a good play. Am I in jeopardy of losing this game? Should I take this field goal? I'm gonna take the field goal. 16 to seven is a nine point lead. It's a two possession lead. I know I was talking about not taking the field goal, but I don't know. I actually could still lose this game. 40 bomb is not guaranteed. We do start with the ball here. Here's the other thing. I'm 24 points away from 40. So three touchdowns, if I got every two point conversion, is 24 points. Puka Nakua is now in the backfield. That's exactly what I wanted. So he can run this wheel run. Route. That's nasty. Oh, that's nasty. No halfback is making that catch right there. Now let's give him the handoff. Let's go Puka Nakua to the right side. Oh, those blocks are questionable. That defense was all over it right there. Third and three. I got to score quick. You think we could get Puka like downfield? Oh, that's a bad ball, Matt. No, it's not. Any throw to Vita Vea is a good throw. I'm going to block Vita Vea so that Aaron Donald can't whoop my ass instantly. I'm kind of looking for Puka here. Oh my God, Aaron Donald is covering Henry. What? Whoa. I can't be that mad. I just threw a contested ball to a halfback. But damn, what the fuck just happened? I need to watch this. He just took that shit. Peanut Tillman just fucking took that shit from Derrick Henry. See if I had Puka in there, I don't know. That was a questionable ball. I saw Aaron Donald covering him. I thought, thought it'd be good. I just didn't see the, uh, the help from the corner. He's gonna go Barry here, make this second and six. And all of a sudden, I'm very happy I took my field goal. Oh, get home. No. My own dudes just bumped into each other. He's gonna throw! Gonzalez locks him up! Oh my 
got to cover for that long? That's a miracle we just got the ball back. And he's gone. He just quit. He turned his Xbox off. That's what that says right there. Yeah, unfortunately, you actually can't reconnect to the game when you unplug your Xbox from the wall. So I have a feeling it's going to say your peer has conceded the game. Oh, no, I'm sorry. The connection to your peer has been lost. Holy shit, that defense is so good. Let's go, boys! I got a mystery present for the Zero Chill Field Pass well past Christmas, and it's a lavish. And as we know, this is dog shit, but the fuck you, EA. Lavish and 87 overall? A slap in the face would have been a better present. Damn, I think for the first time ever, I might have gotten the four passing touchdowns challenge. Unfortunately, he quits, so we don't get the opportunity. I'm gonna open a pack anyway. Technically not supposed to, but I just... I don't even see how anything I could pull here would even help. This team is so nasty. I'd have to get a crazy good pull. Get Cam Chancellor, Desmond Ritter. Got a Redux. That's a pretty cool pull. None of these guys are going to be used on this team, but a pretty cool pull nonetheless. How much of this have we seen, boys? The Get Gooder Wheel. Time to get gooder, boys. All right. Oh, we haven't gotten this one in a long time. Worst position plus five. So worst is obviously subjective. So the way I'm going to do this is just my absolute lowest overall. So my left guard is an 87. My fullback is an 87. My MLB two is an 87. So my worst position is at a tie for 87 overall. So I could either add plus five to my left guard, plus five to my fullback. Oh no, I can't do MLB two. No, because MLB is the position. This is technically a backup. Okay. So I could either do plus five to left guard or plus five to fullback. So either a 92 overall fullback or a 92 left guard. The thing about fullback is I plan to move Vita Vea to fullback and back up tight end and then Gronk back to my starting tight end. So I got to go left guard here. And that's honestly awesome because I mean, I've been talking about getting Derrick Henry the O-line that he deserves. Landon Dickerson is probably not it. So we can get any 92 overall left guard in the game. I actually don't even know if there is a 92 left guard in the game. We could either go with Russ Grimm, Legends, or we go with Ruben Brown. Ruben Brown is the team diamonds for the Buffalo Bills. He's a run blocking monster. 93 strength, 93 run block. Ooh, I think this is our guy. Ooh, wait a minute. Russ Grimm gets one AP linchpin. Russ Grimm is absolutely the option we take here. That's huge. Linchpin is a great ability. Linchpin gives you stronger blocking from all offensive linemen. However, somebody went in the code to figure out how this works. It's actually only for run plays. Now, in classic EA fashion, they don't tell you that. Keep that in mind if you plan on using Lynchpin. Lynchpin is for run blocking and protected. The ability for quarterbacks is for pass blocking. I don't know why EA does this shit. They put these abilities in the game and then they give you one fucking vague sentence on what it does. This is nice now. We got a little Washington Commanders O-line going here. Russ Grimm, Nick Gates. MLB one. Rob Gronkowski is no more now. It's Ray Lewis and I gotta say yes, this Gronk is better than Ray Lewis, but positionally I need a super good tight end. My right outside linebacker now, it's going to be 87 overall Luke Keekley. Obviously, this is a bit of a downgrade, but in dollar, it's just going to be Ray Lewis and Carmichael and nobody else even comes in. Next episode is in the playoffs. Keep in mind, unfortunately, the playoffs I can only do in all Madden or regular season. There's no such thing as much champions playoffs. So we will be back to four minute quarters next episode. Dropping a 40 bomb on those quarters would be tough, although it's possible. Just wanted you guys to know, but an amazing episode today. Today, we added Jalen Carter, Tariq Woolen, Harold Carmichael, and Russ Grimm. Probably one of the most dominant episodes we've had in a while. I love you, boys. I can't wait for the playoffs. Let's go get another ring. And I'll see you, boys, in the next episode. Peace.